Hi friends, in this session, let's finish a task. The task is load multiple files from a folder into a table in SQL Server using data flow task in SSIS package. Now let's go to SSIS package and add a new package for this task. Now go to SSIS toolbox and drag data flow task. Now open data flow task and go to SSIS toolbox and define your source file connection. So because my source file connection is in CSV file format, I'm let's configure flat file source connection. So our task is to load multiple files into table, right? So even though we have to load multiple files into a table, the first step will be to configure one file loading into table by following a static approach, not a dynamic approach at the first step. So let's configure one file loading into data flow into our destination following static way. So let's open flat file source and configure your flat file connection manager and now browse your file name and pick any of your file and click open. Go to columns and it shows all your columns and click OK. Now go to columns again and click OK. Now let's configure your destination, OLEDB destination. Now let's map here and go to OLEDB, click new and new again. Now enter your server name. So localhost in my case. Now select your database name and click OK. Now click OK again. So because, and I want to create a new table for these source files. So that's why click new. If you have any already exist, then select from the drop down and select your table there. Now let's change the table name to as per our source files. Uh, my source files are prime data. So, and verify all the column and data types are matching with the SQL Server version. That is, sometimes it may show the different data types which is not compatible with your SQL Server version. So let's check all the data types. All data types are compatible with SQL Server. And also, in the first step, let's keep the source, source and destination column data types as varchar because of one reason. I will show you that in the later, uh, after a few minutes, okay? And verify, in, in the description case, obviously we, it's a, uh, uh, our data size must be, will be around 500 or 5,000 like that. So let's change that to some little bit more size and click OK. Now, table has been created in your new database uh, with name crime data and go to mappings and verify all columns are mapped correctly and OK. Now execute our package to start loading the data into the table. Loading completed. So let's stop the package execution and go to table and refresh the table list. So, and let's verify the data in this table. So data has been loaded and data looks correct, right? So now let's configure, let's make the package as dynamic. So because I want to load the files in a folder, the task that supports in SSIS package is for each loop container. So we can loop a folder files using this for each loop container. So let's drag this for each loop container into the designer and configure that to loop all the files in a folder. Now go to collection and choose the enumerator that is file enumerator in our case 
so now let's configure our folder here and because I want to configure uh, only CSV files to iterate here so let's change the extension type as CSV and change the retrieve file name as full qualified path because at runtime I want to change our connection manager connection to a different file for each iteration so then only it changes that connection and that that means source file and loads that source file data into our destination so so I let's choose fully qualified path and go to variable mappings and let's create a new variable called file connection and click OK now index is 0 because we only have one return type that is fully qualified path now click OK so we've done with the for each loop container configuration now this container can loop through all the files in this folder so now let's drag the data flow task into for each loop container and then let's change our connection manager to use that file connection dynamic file connection that we configured in the for each loop container now let's right click on the file connection manager and go to properties go to expressions and go to property connection string and go to expression again and drag your variable into here user file connection so evaluate it because we don't have we don't uh, initiate any value in this file connection it's not showing any value let's click on ok and click on ok now let's go to properties again and change delay validation to true because we are now using our variable and connection in connection string that will be changed at runtime so so the validation of this task must be must have some delay then that's then only it uh, can identify the connection string using file connection so that's why we have to set delay validation to true okay now yes that's all we are done with uh, the we we made our file connection manager as dynamic so that it now can loop through all the files in the folder so it the way it runs is for each iteration this for each loop container assigns the file path that it get from this folder into the file connection so it stores this value into file connection for every iteration for each iteration then that means it change the source connection manager at each iteration then when it runs data flow task it loads the file into table the destination because I want to load all the files into one table there will be no changes to this local host or table for destination connection manager now let's execute the package So loading execution completed let's stop the package execution and go to table again and verify the data has been loaded correctly or not so if you notice the offense count is not loaded correctly right so it has it has uh, it has saved the offense level 3 description data into offense count incorrectly so that's why I said to keep the var character types at first step. So in order to verify our files data has been loading correctly into the table or not, we have to first, it's good to choose the var character data type at the beginning at when we develop the package. Then after our validation is completed, we can change the data types of the column names accordingly based on the data in the column so in order to fix this issue you let's go to package again now let's go to 
flat file connection manager and let's let's have a value saved in our variable so that we can uh, we can use that mapping and we can update our settings for that so let's store a file connection here value let's make it uh, let's make, make let's form the string here dot csv let's copy this as the value in the connection file connection variable so now it shows that path here sorry so now go to here again now evaluate so it shows the path and click OK now double click on the flat file connection manager then OK now let's go to data flow task and flat file source and go to columns that shows and file connection <coughs> now let's uh, copy to here as well now in the text qualifier because if you notice the data has the qualifier right the double quotes so in order to identify we have to use qualifier as double quotes so that it detects it load only the text present within that double quote qualifier so let's use text qualifier as double quote and go to columns and shows like it's showing again correctly and OK. Now let's save it and let's truncate the data. Now execute the package again. So data loaded successfully. Stop the execution and go to packet uh, table again. Now check the data. So you see, all the data, all data, has been loaded correctly and properly, right? So this is how we have to follow. And now the last step will be to align the column data types correctly based on the data type of the column. So now let's uh, take the definition. Let's drop and create again the table. Now let's change because our date format. Let's keep it like this because uh, sometimes we receive the date. This date may not be uh, the default date date time format of SQL Server. So better uh, to keep date format as is as varchar type so post code incident is an integer type right so let's uh, post code incident let's change it to begin and offense count let's change into integer now let's create this table again now let's run the package again So loading completed, stop the package and go to table and verify the data again. So data has been loaded correctly, right? So now we are done with the task using data flow task. That is, we have loaded all the files from this folder into a table. So the prerequisite for this task is we must have all the headers in all the files must be same so all the files must have the header same so 
all these files follow the same header name header and column names then only it is possible to load these files into table using data flow task we have other ways even though the header and uh, column names doesn't match we can load into table but not using data flow task we can use script task or any other task in uh, SSIS package to load uh, files into a table so the header doesn't match or column names doesn't match but using data flow task this is the only way we have to use uh, to load into table that means that is files must have the header same thanks for watching my video if you like please uh, like comment share and subscribe to my channel Thanks a lot for watching my video. Thank you.